location, location, location. Our hotel is right across the street from this restaurant. As I said, I must have walked by at least 10 restaurants of which half were closed. I already worked my way through half of my muscles. I was hungry. The food was good. Great? No, but good, yes, and that's all that counts. Not everything is great. And here is Steve came back with another chocolate ice cream. Yum, yum, yum. Well, I'm not sure if you could call it the jet, but it's a highly recommended restaurant and all their groceries come from their family farm. Uh, we're gonna try the fish terrain. It's sea bass, he said, with egg, mustard sauce, and pickled green beans. Okay, there's sea garland, linguine, salsa, shrimp, squid, mussels, and clams. The restaurant is called Pujat, and it is certainly no hardship to sit outside and eat with a view like this. Homemade sourdough bread. And there's the sea bass pate, green beans. He, he said that's an egg yolk, capers, and I do not remember what that was. I have no memory left whatsoever. I just remember that's mustard. Steve and I split the, the linguine with calamari, clams, mussels, and shrimp probably enough. Steve is already halfway through his. That was so good that Steve and I ordered a second portion. This restaurant is recommended by Galt Malo and and I urge you not even to listen to my recommendations because we all have opinions and I prefer the professionals who get paid to recommend than TripAdvisor. Tonight we're going to eat dinner at Nostalgia. The menu is limited. Looking at, we have an excellent waiter. He's the first one who asked me if I wanted to taste the wine before he served it because it's a house wine. It's a little on the raw side, but once Steve and I begin drinking, we're, we're good, raw or not. They're closed tomorrow. Today is Saturday. It's interesting. The placemat tells you about people from Shibanek who contributed to the world as it is today. This is, we heard about this in Zagreb, Fausto Vernancio, the parachute. There are disputes over where Marco Polo was born. From he lived from 1254 to 1324. One theory alleges he was born in Šibenik. The other side has people from Croatia who contributed to the world. Fingerprints. Oh, John Malkovich. I didn't know he was Croatian. <laughs> And here's our pasta. Steve and I are splitting it. And they always say, oh, well, one, one portion is enough for one person, but I don't agree with that. Chicken breast in a sweet potato base, green beans, and zucchini curls. It's your wife, my wife, my son. Which one's Chef. your son? That's, uh, this That's your guy. wife. Tonight's dinner. They have a really, really nice menu here. Goodness gracious, I don't know what to do. Uh, they don't have any open house wine here, so we're doing it by the glass. They've got a fuzzy pasta with black truffles. Homemade ravioli filled with spinach, curd, cheese, and a dried ham and rocket sauce. That sounds really good, too. We have grilled veal cutlets with coarse salt, onion rings, and Dijon mustard. Here they give you an amuse of tuna as a, a little starter. It is a very delicious olive bread. 
This looks more like the Caprese, or Caprese, sorry, I never know how to pronounce it, salad that I expected with the slices of mozzarella, tomato, pesto sauce, and pine nuts. Shaving the truffles on it. Some little pig found that. <laughs> We're having the uh, we're having the thank you the steak and a truffle sauce because the I originally wanted to order the veal steak but the veal steak is very skinny and doesn't come medium rare perfectly medium rare and I'm so glad we didn't order a second one. We're eating at Bulgaria. It just started raining outside. I'm glad we decided to sit inside. They have a very limited menu, but the food is supposed to be good. The vodka gnocchi, homemade cauliflower gnocchi, tomato sauce with vodka, grilled prawns, Parmesan cheese, and pancetta. The one that appeals to me here is the codfish spring roll, but I don't know if it's teeny tiny or what is a bumbolini. The server recommended the bambolini over the codfish spring roll, so we'll give it a try. Crispy fried balls with almond rosemary crust filled with bechamel and prosciutto. Okay. The limited menu is because of COVID, which is what I thought. Here's our gnocchi. Tonight we are going to dine at Portofino. Not that I'm hungry because I am not. It's all we do is eat. Eat, eat, eat. What a pretty restaurant. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Still hot out, so we're gonna going to sit outside. If it does begin to rain, no big deal. It's before six o'clock, so you still have your choice of a lunch menu or a dinner menu. Big, big difference. I love mussels, love grilled octopus. I am so conflicted when it comes to ordering food because there is so much. We're going to start with a bruschetta with the baby shrimp on it. They bring some bread and butter too to start with. Look at how much bruschetta or bruschetta. They pronounce it bruschetta here and I've also heard it pronounced bruschetta. It's got the baby shrimp on it. It's a tremendous amount of parmesan, some fresh pepper, and we're good. Havana. I'm glad I picked this particular pasta. It was absolutely wonderful. Great service, wonderful restaurant. Steve and I just bought some tuna sandwiches. I absolutely cannot eat another full meal one more day. And some of these cookies. Very really yum.